In Tableau 2020.1, Tableau added the ability to customize the Discover pane in Tableau Desktop. Now the Discover pane is this section here on the right hand side. I'll just open up Tableau so you can see that. Um, the Discover pane is this gray section here on the right hand side. It has some training, resources, and visit the week or visit the day. Unfortunately, this hasn't been updated in a while, um, but essentially that is what the Discover pane is. And you now have the ability to put a custom web page inside of this section. Now, this is really handy if you have, let's say, uh, a large number of users and you need to be able to put information, maybe state update, status updates, server downtime. These are the kind of messages that are really handy to put inside of the product so anyone altering a Tableau visualization knows about those events. Now, in order to do that, you can implement the Discover pane in a couple of ways. The first is to actually change the setting after installation and Tableau have a guide on how to do that here. In this video, I'm actually going to show you how to do it whilst you're installing Tableau through the command line. Installing Tableau through the command line is probably the most effective way that you can install Tableau onto a large number of machines as most IT departments have the ability to control machines through the command line or push updates through the command line to a large bunch of machines. And so in order to do this, you need to be able to add the setting for the Discover pane during the installation. And that's what I'm going to show you how to do in this video. This is the guide I'm going to be following. You can see they have the same guide for Tableau Desktop and Tableau Prep. I'll, I'll put a link to this in the um, video description below. And I'm just going to walk you through uh, this very basic step. So you don't have to worry about reading this entire page. Although I will highlight that this page has a lot of the specifics around certain attributes that you might want to customize for both Windows and Mac. Let's just dive into this and we can see how this works. I'm going to switch over to my Windows environment and you can see here on my Tableau um, folder, I've got a script and I've also got an installation file for uh, Tableau 2020.1. Um, in another folder, you'll see that I have my C drive and in my programs folder, you'll see that I do have a Tableau folder because I have a previous version of Tableau installed on this machine, but I do not have 2020.1 installed. So if I go to my start menu, you'll see if I scroll all the way down to uh, the letter T, 2019.4 uh, is there, but not 2020.1. So what I did in advance is I wrote the script that we're going to use today in this text file. And I'll just go through it in, in, in very simple terms. Okay, I'll just put on a uh, word wrap so we can see everything in, in, in one view. The first thing you have to do is you actually have to navigate to the folder uh, that you want to run the script from. And in this folder, you should already have the um, the installer available. So you can see here that I'm referencing the install file itself. I've put in a parameter to run this as a quiet install. And um, this would be the setting you'd typically use. But for the first uh, setting, what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to remove that. And we're going to ask Tableau to sort of launch uh, itself so we can actually see the installation uh, in this video. Uh, you can tell Tableau not to restart the machine. This is handy if you're pushing updates, let's say, uh, during working hours or you want to make sure that people don't lose their work. Uh, suddenly, this is a good option to add. You can accept the um, user license agreement and you can see the setting here to set the Discover pane. I've simply set it to google.com as a simple way of uh, setting this up. And the last setting is you can actually um, have license reporting uh, ping back to a Tableau server so that you can actually see who's using the license on their machines. And this is handy if you're administrating a lot of desktop users and you have a fixed number of license keys. You can actually sort of uh, start to think about things like license rotation when certain people haven't used their keys in a while or people have left the organization. This is a nice way of finding out who those people are. And that's available through Tableau Server. But in order to do that, you have to set up the setting when you install uh, Tableau. So I'm going to remove this as well because we don't need this in our, in our simple um, uh, setup here. Now I'm just going to click right click on the start menu and I'm going to bring up the Windows PowerShell admin. In this case, I'm just using a simple um, sort of command line interface. Uh, to be to be honest, any sort of um, scripting interface that allows you to, to pass commands to the command line in Windows will work. Um, you can do this through sort of the command prompt, not just PowerShell as well. Uh, but in essence, what we need to do is we need to navigate to the folder where I have this installation file. So in this particular case, it's the desktop. So what I'll do, just to make sure that I get it right, I try and, and avoid typing out things as far as much as I possibly can. 
is I'll just uh, uh, paste that in there. And now you'll see this will change the directory to the desktop, desktop folder. And then inside of that, you'll see Tableau, okay? Now that I'm in the folder, what I'll do is I'll just type, start typing Tableau, and then I'll press tab to try and autocomplete the installer file. Again, this makes sure that I don't type it or mistype it incorrectly, okay? So the last bit here is just uh, these commands here, these arguments here, and I'm gonna copy those from my text file, and I'm just gonna right click, and that will paste them into this interface. So you can see here that this is going to run Tableau Desktop 2020.1, it's set to not restart the computer, accept the user license agreement, and set the discover pane to uh, google.com. Now in my case, I'm not running a quiet install, so it will pop up the interface, and we should see this run as soon as I hit enter. So let's hit enter. And if we just wait a few minutes, uh, we will see that it will actually launch uh, the, the launcher for Tableau Desktop. And so you can see here that uh, I have actually accepted the the um, terms of the license agreement. I'm going to tick here not to send uh, product usage data. Because I didn't do a quiet install, this interface pops up and asks me to tick this option. But I can simply hit install. You'll see that the installation essentially just carries on right through. It's going to use all the default settings. Uh, for Tableau Desktop. It's also going to change the Discover pane. And on completion, it's actually going to fire up Tableau Desktop. And you'll see that the Discover pane is now set to google.com. Okay, the installation is finished and it's now just opening up Tableau. And there it is. You can see uh, google.com here on the right hand side. It's not a very <laughs> effective uh, uh, way uh, or place to have google.com, uh, but you can see that you can essentially load up any any sort of uh, web page in this space. If you've enjoyed this video, hit subscribe. If not, uh, thanks for watching. Let me know what kind of content you'd like to see below and I'll catch you in the next video.